Hello YouTube! How are you? It is Monday, April 24th. Uh, this video is not going to be uploaded till Tuesday the 25th though. Um, I was hoping that I'd be able to get them, um, you know, do Monday car vlogs, but with my work schedule and all of that kind of stuff, um, I work till midnight and a lot of times these videos are too large for me to directly upload from my phone to YouTube. So, that's a thing. So, I guess from now on, um, my car vlogs are going to be Tuesdays. I'll shoot them on Mondays. So, hopefully that doesn't uh, confuse anybody. Um, so, I'm just driving to work. It's a beautiful day. Um, we've been blessed with amazing weather. Um, shaved my hair. So, I'm looking all fresh and as my younger brothers and sisters would say, I'm on fleek now. Um, whatever that means. Then, um, I've gotten a lot of stitching done. I did a lot of stitching yesterday on Sunday. Um, I even started something new. Probably shouldn't, but whatever. I did. Um, it's actually a sow. It's a rainbow sow. I don't remember who posted it. It was a freebie on a blog. So I'll link that below. Um, I believe it was called Rainbow Sal 2017 or 2017 Rainbow Sal, some, something along that lines. Um, and they release one, uh, the new part every month. Um, and, uh, so since I joined the game late, I'm already, let's see, January, February, March, I'm almost four months behind, plus I haven't done all of the bordering, which is fine. I haven't decided if I want to do the border as I go, or if I want to do it all in one fell swoop. Probably do it as I go, because I need to get caught up um, on it. Um, but it's, I started on the outlining of the first little monthly motif, so I guess January's motif started doing the outline, like the border for it. Um, what else? I got actually quite a bit done on, um, Wizard of Oz. I'm hoping to have page two done by Friday. Um, maybe that's too lofty of a goal. We'll see um, what happens with that. Uh, but I have gotten a lot done. Um, so, I don't know if I said this in a previous video. If I did, I apologize. But page two is um, half of Dorothy's face. Um, so I'm working... I've done a lot of her hair, the, I guess the right side of her hair, if she was facing the same way I am, but to me it's the left side of her hair, but whatever. Um, so I got a lot of that done, and it's, it's looking a little odd. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm not going to make a judgment until I get more of her done to see the bigger picture. But when I'm working up close using like dark navy blue and burgundy reds for her hair, it's a little unnerving and unsettling because that's not the colors of her hair. But again, I won't pass judgment till I see it come to fruition. Um, when I was working on page one, I was feeling the same way about the broom. Um, that the Wicked Witch is holding, because page one was, like, the bristles of the broom that the witch, I think it's a broom, it might be a torch, I don't know, but to me it's a broom, it looks like a broom, um, <clears throat> when I was working on it, it didn't really look like that, it didn't look like, well, quite frankly, it didn't look like a torch, and it didn't look like a broom, um, and it wasn't until I got it all done 
for that top part because it's on fire on the top and kind of circled around um, that it actually started looking like the picture. So I'll reserve my judgments for after I get page two done and can kind of see Dorothy coming to life. Right now it's looking like a hot mess in my opinion, but whatever. Um, I've gotten a lot done on uh, the Queen Fairy. Um, I started using some of the DMC light effects that I am substituting in place of Krynik because I couldn't be bothered to go to the needle shop, the LNS that's, I don't know, 45 minutes away or whatever just for, I think it was four colors of Krynik. Um, but whatever. The light effects, I'm actually liking the way they're looking. I don't like how they work up though. I don't like how, I don't know, they're kind of a pain in the butt to, to work with, but they're looking good. Um, it's got a lot of sparkle because uh, the part that I did is uh, the Queen Fairy's, I'm assuming it's her crown. It, that's what it kind of looks like to me. So I've done some of her hair because it's like, again, on, on her right side, but on the left side for me as I'm looking at it. Um, so I've done some of the hair and then the crown piece because uh, I'm still on page one on that. Um, and then I started working on I'm assuming it's like a halo kind of thing um, where it's got just blotches of, not blotches, but single stitches and increments all the way up and around and almost like a halo-y arc kind of thing. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I haven't done anything with the baby sampler. Um, yeah, so, um, amazing thing, and I can't believe I haven't mentioned it, but um, I've been linking my Etsy store down below, and I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback, people saying that they like the things that I have, um, but I've also sold two things. Um, I've sold two things, which is amazing. Um, one of them was a baby sweater, um, and if you watch my videos, I apologize, the baby sweater is coming along very well. Um, I hit a snag, one of the skeins of yarn that I am using uh, for the color that you chose um, had a lot of, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like inconsistencies where the, the fiber wasn't appropriately kind of uh, spun into the, the strands. Um, so I've had to kind of frog out a lot of what I was doing because of those little things because uh, when I first started that scheme ran into it so I cut it off and started but then um, halfway was it halfway down the back I think it was about halfway down the back I had just finished the sleeves uh, the back of the sleeves um, so halfway down the back, because when I do the sleeves and I disconnect and reattach and um, work uh, on the rest of the back of the sweater, um, when I got to that point and I started doing the rest of the back, um, there was more pilling and pilling and pilling. I'm going to call it pilling. It's not really pilling. It's a defect of the manufacturer. Um, but you know, ran into some pilling, and I think I was only five or six stitches, maybe a little bit more in, and I'm like, well, I can't, you know, cut it off here and then reattach and yada yada, so frogged it out, cut, started again, and then same issue. Um, I finally gotten to a point with that scheme that um, their knock on wood doesn't appear to be any more issues with it, so... I do apologize, um, again, if you're watching my videos, it is coming along. Um, I am positive that I will get it into the mail by Wednesday, 
um, at the latest. My hope is to shoot for Tuesday, so today is Monday. So my hope is to shoot for Tuesday afternoon, um, getting it into the post so it can get to you in a timely fashion. Um, so I apologize my, you know, from the bottom of my heart um, that this has taken as long as it has. Um, and then, uh, so then I sold uh, some coasters, some uh, crocheted coasters. So that's awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, if you want to check out my Etsy store, it'll be linked down below. Um, and then also let me know, because I usually, for my car vlogs, I don't use my microphone. Um, but let me know if I need to use my microphone. Because if I do, I'll start using it. Um, I'm just worried that it'll pick up everything. I don't think it will, but the microphone on the phone seems to pick up a great deal of the road noise, which kind of sucks. So maybe the microphone would be best. Um, I don't know. I can test it out and play around with it and see um, how it works, and then you guys can let me know what you think. Um, anyway, is that everything? I guess that's everything. Um, I don't have anything else. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Um, I'll show you on Friday, but I will strongly advise against buying the Charles Craft, I think it's MCM linen. Uh, it doesn't matter where it comes from. It could be online. It could be, um, you know, Michael's, Joanne's, uh, Hobby Lobby, whoever. Whoever sells it, the prepackaged stuff, um, I've, I haven't had any issues with their Ada, haven't had any issues with their even weave, but if you remember from Friday's video, last Friday's video, uh, I think it was last Friday, might have been the Friday, before. no, last Friday's, it was definitely last Friday's, um, I had bought the pack of the oyster colored uh, linen. Um, and my intent was to use that linen, um, I think it was 32 count if I'm not mistaken. Um, but my intent was to use that for the rainbow sal, so that's what I started the rainbow sal on. Well, it looks like they had drunk monkeys or something cutting the fabric because when I unfolded it, one of the side edge, so it's shorter here and then longer on, on uh, two of the sides and then shorter on the other two. Well, the short sides seem to be cut pretty straight. I mean, as probably as straight as you can get it. Um, but the t longer sides, what I'm calling top and bottom, um, one of them kind of went along and then deviated all the way up in like this archy thing. And then the other side, the other long side, kind of went along a little bit and then deviated up, like in a concave kind of thing. So, there's going to be a lot of waste on that. Um, if I've done my math correctly, I shouldn't have any issues getting the rainbow sow stitched on it. However, I'm thinking I might restart the rainbow sow because it's not really looking all that great. Um, and yes, I strongly urge you guys not to buy that MCM Charles Craft, whatever it's called, linen, prepackaged linen that's all folded up. Um, I should have listened to, I think it was the Ginger Gerald Stitcher that had said that before. Um, like I said, I haven't had any issues with the Even Weaves or the um, Ada by the same company, but the Linen, oh my gosh, that was just atrocious. So, I think I need to either buy online or go to my LNS, which I should probably do anyway, check out some of their patterns, um, and get some proper linen, cut off the bolts and everything. Um, but anyway, that's all I have to say about that. So, until Friday, I will see you all later. Happy stitching. Um, leave comments, questions, 
leave questions down below and uh, I'll include them in Friday's video as a QA. and a um, But anyway, I will talk to you all later. Hope you have a great week and happy stitching.